Does Donald Trump really have a union following? Next on your Labor Minute. Hello, I'm Mark Harrison. Donald Trump likes to claim he has a good working relationship with unions. And in fact, the mainstream press has been heard to say that blue collar workers are in love with Mr. Trump. However, the AFL-CIO reports that by their estimates, only about a third of their members are in favor of a Trump presidency, and that that number has been declining almost daily with a revelation by the New York Times that the candidate hasn't paid any federal income taxes in a very long time. To be clear, the AFL-CIO has endorsed Hillary Clinton for president and plans an aggressive get-out-the-vote drive as the election date nears. Yet many union members across the board are less than enthusiastic about Mrs. Clinton, but in the end are still unwilling to support Mr. Trump for president. Now, trade is a large issue for many union members, so how do the candidates stand on the issue? Mr. Trump is opposed to any type of trade deals, saying that he would simply negotiate better deals. Yet Mr. Trump's running mate, Governor Mike Pence of Ohio, has been a leading advocate of free trade and the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement. Hillary Clinton was originally in favor of TPP, as was her running mate, Senator Tim Kaine, but both now say they are opposed to the agreement because of troubling language. I'm Mark Harrison with your Labor Minute.